guys welcome to another interesting and exciting video on my channel today i'll be sharing with you the rich and luxurious lifestyle of the richest Igbo man prince atoeze of Upu, the Ozibo one of Igbo land his company atlas oranto petroleum is the largest holder of oil exploration blocks in africa and currently has 22 oil and gas licenses in 12 jurisdictions across over 12 African countries. Today, I will be giving you an insight to how he acquired such wealth. We will also be discussing his biography, life story, net worth, family, and many more. But before I continue, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we drop new videos. And remember, we only drop interesting, educating, and exciting content. You can also follow me on Instagram at Official Cheesy Media. Without any further delay, let's get right into the video. Prince Arthur Ezen Nupo is a Nigerian oil magnate, philanthropist, businessman, and the CEO of Atlas Oranto Petroleum, the largest private held oil exploration blocks in Africa. He is also known and is also seen as one of the most protected billionaires in Nigeria, with one of the most sophisticated security team. <laughs> Even when he goes for morning exercise driving his bicycle, his security team are on ground guiding and protecting him, jogging with him. Prince Ateze was born on the 27th November 1948 in Ukbo in Anambra State, his hometown. He is also called Prince Ateze because he is from a royal and a wealthy family. Prince Atoeze attended St. Augustine Secondary School in Umpere in Imo State in 1970. After he proceeded to study abroad at California State University, Long Beach, where he studied mechanical and chemical engineering from 1974 to 1978. It was said Prince Ato was a very brilliant student and one of the best graduating students in his class. After his graduation, he interned in different oil exploration companies there in U.S. before getting a job with Pectus Engineering in Texas. There he got the experience he needed and had saved a lot of money. Then he decided to move back to Nigeria to establish himself. In 1991, he founded the company that finally changed his life and made him a billionaire. He founded Atlas Oranto Petroleum, a conglomerate that specializes in oil production, exploration, refining, and many more. The company has grown to become one of the largest privately held as oil exploration block in Africa. The company currently has 22 oil and gas licenses to operate in 12 jurisdictions across Africa. He has assets in Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea, Sudan, Zambia, Uganda, Senegal, and many more, and with his headquarters located in Abuja, the federal capital territory of Nigeria. His company, Atlas Oranto, currently produces a total of 18,000 barrels of oil per day with 153 million cubic feet of gas per day. Apart from oil and gas, Prince Arthur ventured into different businesses, some which did not turn out successful. In 1992, a year after establishing his first company, Atlas Oranto, he established an airline company called Trials Airlines. After the regulation of airlines in Nigeria, the airline base was located in Enugu Airport and had three aircraft until it stopped operation in 2000. 
he also established a radio station in Enugu called ABS 3 FM Stereo Enugu, which is now known as Sunrise 96 FM Enugu. And he made the legendary Nollywood veteran actor Pete Duce the director of the radio station. Apart from business, Prince Arthur Zenobo is the most protected billionaire in Nigeria. His security team is top notch and he is always heavily protected even when he is doing his early morning set exercise riding his bicycle. His security team are on ground with him. I swear money is good. Prince Atheze might be regarded as an old generation billionaire who doesn't believe in social media and prefers to keep his life private. He owns mansions worth billions all over Nigeria and also in his hometown in Ubu in Anambra State. and different luxurious and expensive cars from the likes of a Rolls Royce Phantom, the limited edition worth over 300 million naira and other cars. Prince Atheze is well known to be a philanthropist not just here in Nigeria but in other countries his company operates. He has built schools, hospitals, roads, given scholarships and many more in different parts of the country in Africa. Atheze is also regarded as the godfather of Anambra state politics. It is rumored that he dictates who rules Anambra state that indirectly.
Atoeze is reported as the richest Igbo man with an estimated net worth of $8 billion. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Drop your comment below and tell us what you think about Prince Atoeze Lobo, the richest Igbo man. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and God bless you.